Greetings viewers and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got more icon tools to look at. Went into the local Harbor Freight today and they actually had their full icon display set up in store. They don't have all the tools in stock yet, but we did have some more than what I bought the first time I went through the Harbor Freight and actually bought them out of the stock room in the back out of a cardboard box. So what we've got today is the deep well and shallow metric quarter inch socket set. We have a 92 quarter inch drive ratchet. We have a 92 3 8 drive long handle non-flex ratchet. And we have the 10 piece metric uh, ratcheting combination wrench set. We're gonna probably break this up into a couple of different videos. What I think we're gonna do is we're gonna have the ratchet wrenches be their own video. We're gonna have the 3 8 ratchet be its own video. And then we're probably gonna do the quarter inch sockets and quarter inch ratchet together in one video. So you probably wanna know about price. Here's my receipt. I'll post it where you can uh, see it a little better than on video here. The price for the 3 8 ratchet here was $35. The quarter inch ratchet was $28. The deep sockets were $30. The shallow were $25, and the ratcheting wrenches were $150. So with that said, and our little introduction out of the way, we're going to get into this video, which we will focus on the ratchet wrenches. So like I just said, we're going to focus on our ratchet wrench set this video. The part number is WRAM-10. This is the Icon Professional Ratcheting Wrench Set Anti-Slip Grip. It is a 10 piece set, 10 to 19 with zero skips, lifetime warranty, 72 tooth reversible ratcheting mechanism. I'm just gonna go off of uh, the highlights here on the front, which I believe the stubby metric wrenches, ratchet wrenches I reviewed in the other video, I believe they were 72 tooth count as well. Uh, we've got, what are the bullet points? Precision machine for a perfect non-slip fit. We will we'll see about that in our testing. Tough and durable polished chrome finish includes a premium storage tray and chrome vanadium steel. Let's look at the back of the packaging, see if we have anything noteworthy there. We see a picture of the wrenches in the tray. We've got the wrench itself. We've got a couple of bullet points here on the back, basically the same stuff on the front. Then we've got a breakdown here at the bottom of the wrenches with their sizing. We start at the smallest, which is our 10 mil at seven and a half inches, and we go all the way up to the 19 at 13 and three quarters of an inch. That was one thing I was impressed about when I first saw these wrenches is just the length of them. They're really long, good leverage you're gonna get on these things. Um, I don't have my full Snap-on Dual 80 ratchet wrench set with me, but I do have a few wrenches that we can compare to these and just wrench to wrench, they are not as long as the Icon wrenches. So let's go ahead and unbox this, get it out where we can uh, look at the wrenches a little more in depth and we can start comparing them to the Snap-on, see what we like and dislike about these wrenches. So as we had with the other Icon tools, we do have them bolted, well not bolted, screwed into the case. Uh, the Icon tools do have much more anti-theft measures in their packaging than the traditional Pittsburgh and uh, other Harbor Freight tools, mainly because of the larger price tag affixed to them. All right, so we've got our anti-theft device out of the way. Our wrenches are back in the tray. Uh, as I said in the other video, this tray is extremely reminiscent of snap-on wrench trays. Black blow-molded plastic in the 
pretty much exact same configuration. Um, take a look real quick to see if I see any defects in any of these wrenches. If you saw my 3 8 uh, socket review, I did find defects in the chrome on the 3 8 sockets. Have a couple little places on that tin on the edge. Not sure if that scratches, fingerprints, smudges, or what. But uh, just looking for any kind of big defects in the chrome. Uh, anything that you know you would want to look out for in a $150 wrench that you know you pretty much expect for that kind of money that uh, the finish would be perfect on all the products. So let's give it a look see. There's a little bit of a defect in the chrome there on the 16. Not sure what that is. We'll uh, get a close-up look at that. So yeah, nothing really bad jumping out at me. There was something on the 16 and something on the 10, but overall, no uh, really big deal breakers. Looking at the ratchet end of the wrenches, the selector switch and the actual ratchet, um, the drive looks to be nearly identical to that that is on the stubby wrenches. We do have in the open end of these wrenches, they have their anti-slip grip, which is a small teeth here in the end, uh, similar to Snap-on's Flank Drive Plus or a Mac knuckle saver or there's uh, the right grip and the right grip wrenches. So their own version. Uh, if you've seen some other videos, there was another video that tested them and they do not hold up quite as well as the uh, Snap-on Flank Drive does. Actually, that was not these wrenches. It was the non-ratchet wrenches that do have a different design in the open end. They have a little bit more teeth in them. What we're probably going to do now is uh, actually let's look at these compared to the snap-on wrenches. Like I said, I only have a couple with me out of my set, so we'll compare size to size. This is the 14 millimeter snap-on dual 80 ratchet wrench compared to the 14 millimeter icon. As we see, we've got about an inch, inch and a half uh, advantage to the icon as far as length goes. As far as offset on the ratchet end, they look to be near identical. I think it's 10 or 15 degrees offset. And then looking at the open end, of course the Snap-on has the Flank Drive Plus and the icon has their anti-slip grip. So compare the 13 And again, the icon's got about an inch on the snap-on version. And the 12, I wish I had the 19 with me, but I don't. I know the 19 is far bigger than the snap-on version. And the 12, we've got about half an inch advantage to the icon compared to the snap-on. So let's jump over to the macro lens real quick so I can get a really up-close look at these. I'm going to see if I can get the ratchet mechanism apart. I don't know if I will or not. There's probably a snap ring detent in here where I could show the difference between the Snap-on Dual 80 design and their ratchet wrenches compared to the 72 tooth that's in the icons. So we switched over to the macro view. As we can see, the icon emblem and large font lettering on the wrenches makes it very easy to identify which wrench you're grabbing. And from there, we're gonna go much, much closer. So here we have our mechanism. And like with the stubbies, when we change direction, the drive does move back and forth. So this is a single paw design on these ratchet wrenches. Here we can get a little bit better view of that anti-slip grip, the little teeth made into the open end of the icon wrench. 
real quick, I will show you the difference between the Icon and the Snap-on Flank Drive Plus. So here is the Icon, and here is the Snap-on Flank Drive Plus. You see the difference between the teeth you have here. A lot more teeth in the Snap-on design than in the Harbor Freight Icon design. Compare that to the ratcheting end of the Snap-on with its dual 80 design, same mechanism as the dual 80 ratchets have. And as you see, when we switch the Snap-on forward and backwards, the drive does not move. Snap-on 80 tooth compared to Icon 72 tooth. Real quick comparison. The height of the selector switch on the Snap-on compared to on the Icon. Switch is a little bit bigger and hangs down past the bottom of the open end. Whereas the Snap-on is fairly flush to the body and does not extend past the box end of the wrench and is kind of recessed into the face. Like I said in the stubby video, I do like the, the little bit of knurling here, these lines for a little bit of extra grip. If your hands are slippery to get in there and change your direction. So that's our general overview of our Icon Harbor Freight Ratchet Wrench Set. As stated before, I really like the increased length of these wrenches. They should give lots of leverage to break loose stubborn fasteners. The 72 tooth mechanism seems very tight and we will put to the test in a later video the strength of this anti-slip grip in the open end of these wrenches. With that said, I'd like to close out the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.